Hey guys, we're back with another video. Um, we're just going to head out now. I'm going to go to my favourite LFS, which is uh, Angel Aquatics in Birmingham. Uh, and uh, we're just going to head off now. So hopefully we're going to pick up some SPS corals. Uh, I'd like to get a couple, maybe three. We'll see what they've got and uh, bring them back. Obviously get them acclimated, get them in the tank, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, going to go off now. And... Um, take you along for the ride what I do is when I get there is we'll also uh, just have a little look around the the place as well um, so you can sort of see their coral trays that they've got the fish that they've got and the other bits and pieces that they've got as well so let's go now come along and uh, enjoy the video see you there bye so here we are, we've arrived at Angel Aquatics in Selly Oak, Birmingham. Um, when we go in, we can see that we've got lots of tropical fish uh, and also we've got some cold water fish in here as well. Um, across the back of the counter where we've got the um, dry goods and all those sort of bits and pieces. As we come onto the salt water side of things, we can see that we've got, uh, what have we got in here? We've got a little yellow goby and, uh, oh, can't see anything in that one. Um, in this tank, we've got some, uh, what is that? Firefish, maybe uh, another firefish there. We've got, oh, we've got the Bengal cardinals, and then we come down and we've got some blue green chromis, um, quite a few in there, and we've got some damsels. Um, some more damsels and then oh like nice lionfish there um, just in the corner and uh, we'll have a little look down here what do we got down here so is that a vampire tang yeah I think that's a vampire tang now, that's very nice uh, that was down on the bottom right there now uh, coming along into this one we got there's a cleaner wrasse in there but I can't quite see it oh we got a nice scooter Blenny here um, he's pretty cool I like him um, potentially a selfin uh, tang at the back there and uh, we've also got uh, a couple of more fire fish here uh, one in that tank and uh, and then there's one right there as well they're pretty much sort of side by side almost um, but in just different tanks we've got a what do we got in this one oh nice peacock wrasse there uh, goby that's pretty cool do need to get one of those one day we've got the invert um, tank or the invert tanks I should say and we've got some uh, clownfish snowflake clownfish there's cleaner shrimp in here we've got snails emerald crabs um, all sorts of uh, all sorts of different inverts um, oh what's this is that a clam that's pretty cool whatever that is I think that might be a clam yeah I like that um, moving on over we'll come on over to the uh, coral tray so we've got lots of assorted frags here um, plenty of zoas, there's absolute ton of zoas in here. Really beautiful colours, um, some low end, some high end, really nice. Unfortunately, my my camera, um, even though I've adjusted the white balance, is really not doing the the, the colours in here. Um, a great deal of justice, I'm afraid. I will have to get one of those orange um, filters that I can put onto the onto the end of the onto the end of the camera but uh, yeah some really nice colors um, as I say plenty of zoas having a little look down at the top now um, we've got the wave maker is off um, just because some photos have been taken uh, it's quite handy because I'm also doing this filming as well um, so we can see sort of un uninterrupted view looking down um, without the power head being on um, as I say lots of uh, lots of beautiful colors and different size sort of colonies and and frags of of zoas there uh, let's have a little look what else have we got around here let's have a look through the glass still oh that's a really lovely yellow tang there but i'm pretty sure he's not for sale because uh, he's in with these assorted frags otherwise he would be in the other tanks um that are now sort of behind me but yeah just look at that there's a whole load of zoas there that you can purchase really really lovely colors yeah that's beautiful now what do you got so we come down now we got some uh again look down from the top um 
We've got some Zoas. We've got some candy canes, I think. Yeah, we've got some candy canes there. Again, that the green, it's just really beautiful green. But unfortunately, this video is just not quite showing that. Um, and what else have we got? Uh, let's have a little look up here. Oh, that's really... Oh, I just touched the camera <laughs> into the water there. I didn't quite mean to do that. But uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a beautiful colour. Not quite too sure what that is, but it's really, really nice. All right, then let's have a look at this end. So we've got some uh, nice bunch of hammers there. And what else can I see? Green Fog Spawn. We've got a nice rainbow A-can. Um, some torches, yellow tips, orange tips. Um, there was, I think, just over there. I might have just gone out of shot now, but I think there was a purple tracky. And we've also got, I think that was a dragon soul as well. I might have seen uh, just in the corner. But uh, yeah, again, power heads off. So nice view um, from the top down onto these, onto these corals. Really, really very nice. And oh, this side here. Now this is the SPS. Now this is what I'm interested in because this is what I wanted to actually get. So I put the arrow to them, but I got that one there. Uh, and I also got this one here, which is a plating Montipore. You can see the bigger colony next to it. And I also got the green uh, bird's nest. Um, but we're gonna go back home now and uh, get what I've purchased into the tank or at least get it acclimated. Now we just got back from my LFS Angel Aquatics with uh, three new SPS corals. So I'll just put them all in the same bag just so as I can acclimate them all at the same time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully put them into the sump here and we shall hook that onto the side, get the drip in and uh, leave it for 20 minutes or so. Drip acclimating, can't really see them behind there, but we'll do that and then we'll pop them in a tank and we'll have a look. See you in a bit. Okay then guys, so this is about four days later. As you can see, we've got the two corals over here We've got the bird's nest and then we've also got the the other one behind it just over there and i put the encrusting montipora just down there on that rock just trying to get it so there's no no piney and no reflection but it's very difficult get out of the way piney come back over here so yes, yeah, so I just wanted to say a big thanks to Simon for letting us record at uh, Angel Aquatics there and uh, give you a bit of a full shot, if I can, of the tank at the moment. Uh, SPS doing really well at the moment, so hopefully that will continue and uh, look forward to getting the next lot of corals in. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, it does help me out. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.